I'm Harrison Keeley. Here's what you need to know today. First, Jim Hammond is urging Tennessee sheriffs to keep a close eye on Islamic activity. The Hamilton County Sheriff said, quote, Islam is communism with a god. Hammond said he's concerned that a sect of dangerous Muslims is moving into the state, securing jobs in the government and planning to take over. Local Muslim leaders said they are disappointed by the comments. A Georgia lawmaker says he had an account on cheating website Ashley Madison. State Representative Alan Peake says he was a complete idiot. He has no plans to resign, but is deciding whether to seek re-election next year. A child abuse charge has been dismissed against a Lookout Mountain attorney. Morgan Adams was accused of spanking his 11-year-old son 100 times for making bad grades and lying to his mother. Police said the child received heavy and deep bruising. Judge Casey Stokes has ordered the charges to be expunged from Adams' record. A 59-year-old truck driver is dead after a crash on Interstate 75 in Chattanooga. Authorities say Kenneth Mills' semi smashed into a guardrail. An SUV and RV both struck debris in the road. The SUV driver was injured. Police have not said why Mills crashed. The wreck remains under investigation. Food City has started rebranding Buy Low stores in the Chattanooga area. The new logo just went up on the Red Bank location. Food City says it plans to hire 40 more employees there. The store will reopen as Food City on Wednesday. Also, the company says the first two stores to get major remodeling will be in St. Elmo and Harrison. A homeless man was found dead near the Chattanooga Rescue Mission. 63-year-old Jimmy Loomis was asked to leave after he got into an argument with staffers over the length of a shower. He was allowed to return the next night, but didn't want to. Loomis's body was later found in a tent. His cause of death is unknown. A Chattanooga native is the first woman on the Air Force's elite F-22 Raptor team. 22-year-old Kyara Johnson is a graduate of Central High School. Now she's traveling the country to demonstrate the aircraft. Lauren Elena has recorded an exclusive track for ESPN's college game day coverage. The Rossville native wrote the song History. It will be used in promotions for top college football matchups each week through the national championship. A Chattanoogan is joining the cast of Les Miserables on Broadway. Montego Glover is an alumna of Chattanooga School for the Arts and Sciences. She'll play Fontaine in the show today through February 3rd at the Imperial Theater. A new motorcycle dealership has opened in Chattanooga. Indian Motorcycles is located off Access Road near Amnicola Highway. Former Baylor School standout Colton Jumper is listed as the starting linebacker for the Tennessee Vols. Their season opens Saturday against Bowling Green in Nashville. A judge has sealed the Alabama governor's divorce file from public view. Robert Bentley issued a statement requesting privacy for his family. Finally, the Sequatchie County Fair opens tomorrow. The event runs through September 7th. Turning to weather, today will be sunny with a high near 90 degrees. Tonight's low will be around 69. That's it for today's news. Thanks for being with us. You can find more on these stories and breaking news at timesfreepress.com.